Interactive Reports is a very powerful component that enables you to empower your users to easily customize the report they see. To get started, we're going to first create a new page. Click on Create Page from the Application Builder and then Report. We're going to create an Interactive Report and call the page Tasks. Let's add a navigation item, then click on Next. I'm going to select the Tasks table that will show me all my tasks and click on Create. Now our interactive report is created. Let's go and run the page. The first thing I'm going to do is hide this ID column. To do this, simply click on the column header and click on the Hide Column button. Next, let's go and add a control break on the project column. Simply click on the project column again and click on the control break button. We're almost done. Let's go and add a filter on status so we only see the open tasks. Looks good. Let's go and save this report. Actions, report, save report. We'll call this report Open Projects, and then Apply. Now, let's go back to our primary report and make a few more changes. Let's first uncheck the uh, control break, and then click on Actions, and let's go and add a computed column. So go to Data, Compute, and for the column label, I'm going to call this Budget V Cost. For computation expression, let's go and find the budget column, and then type in minus, and then type in the cost column, which is H then click on Apply. And now we've created a new column for calculating the budget minus the cost. Now let's go and add a highlight so we can easily identify the over budget projects. Go to Actions, Format, Highlight, and then let's call this highlight over budget. I'm going to select the red colors, and then for the condition, I'm going to set the budget V cost to be less than zero, meaning that I've run out of budget. Let's apply the changes and see what we get. Now you'll see that my over budget projects are highlighted in red. Next, let's go and add a group by. Click on Actions and then Group by. For the group by column, we're going to select Status. And what we'd like to do is see the cost and budget, the sum of the cost and budget for our projects by the status. So let's select these columns and click on Apply. Now we only see the open projects because I had a filter. So simply uncheck that filter, and I can see the total cost and total budget for all of my projects by status. But let's go and do this by project instead. And here it is again. Now, let's go and sort this. I can simply click on the budget column, and then select the column I want to sort by, and then apply my changes. Let's go and add one more thing to this group by. How about the sum of the budget V cost? Here it is and I can even go and sort by this if I like. The beauty of all of this is that I can still toggle my filters, so I can go and check my status equals open and reduce the set of projects. Let's go and save this report. Click on the Actions menu, then Report, Save Report, and this time we'll call it Projects by Budget. And then I can go and toggle between the other saved reports that I have. The next thing we're going to do is add a pivot. Go to Actions and then Pivot. For the pivot columns, we will select Status. And for the row columns, Assign To. And then it'll be the sum of the budget V cost. Here, I can see all the open projects. Simply uncheck it. And now I have all of the projects by assignee. And I can see how many projects they have closed, on hold, open, or pending, and the complete budget for those projects. Let's go back to the report view and then add a chart. Click on Actions and then Chart. It's going to be a bar chart and the label will be project. The value will be again budget v cost and the function will be the sum. I'm going to change the orientation to horizontal so it's a bit easier to see. And here we go. Here are all the projects by cost. Finally, let's go back and save this report. Actions, save report. I'll use the same name so it just overrides previous setting. And that's it. With zero coding, I was able to build a very sophisticated report that can perform all sorts of data analysis without writing a single line of code.